Hi there, Trina Rimmer here with um, another quick and simple PowerPoint technique um, that you can use to bring emphasis to um, text on the screen using color and fade. Um, I came up with this idea because from time to time I found it was unavoidable to have um, a text heavy screen in my course and rather than um, just hope that the learner read everything I put on the screen for them, I thought it might be nice to actually sort of bring their attention to the certain key concepts that um, I wanted them to know about. So I came up with this as a way of hopefully burning that um, uh, key concept into their brain. So let me just show you how it all plays out when it's done and then we can deconstruct and reconstruct from there. Alright, so as you can see it's very subtle, but if you're just sitting here watching text come onto the screen, it has um, a nice way of drawing your attention. And um, obviously if I took the time to um, put this into Articulate, I would probably um, sync all of that to happen in time with my narration to really um, reinforce the, uh, the impact. So let's go ahead and do it. Um, I've already created a text box here and I've used um, a text color that's um, uh, probably half dozen shades lighter than the background color. Um, I wanted to have some contrast so that you can see that there's text there, but not so much that you lose the impact of emphasizing the, the new text. So I'm going to copy and paste and it's very important to keep these exactly the same size and shape so that you don't have alignment issues later. And now I'm just going through and highlighting the text that I want to emphasize. And you can emphasize words or entire phrases. You can use um, different colors, whatever floats your boat. All right, now before I start aligning things, um, I want to go ahead and animate this to leave. So we're going to have it exit out, fast, and then I'm going to go into the Effect Options screen and under the Text Animation tab, I'm going to select By First Paragraphs so that I can control that fade out on a bullet by bullet level. And again, this is really helpful if you're trying to um, uh, sync with some narration later. Now I'm ready to align. and send this new layer of text to the back. So basically what I've done is I've sent the emphasized layer of text to the back, the sort of low contrast one is in front, and as it fades out you'll see the layer hidden behind it and get that nice subtle emphasis effect. And there you go. I hope you enjoyed this screener. If you have any questions about it, please feel free to email me at trina at rimmer.net.